In this video, we'll discuss what is determinacy, what is stability, and how to calculate them. Let's revisit high school mathematics first. If the number of unknown variables equals the number of abidable equations or the number of independent simultaneous equations, the equations can be solved to find values for variables. For example, here we have two equations and two variables x and y. So the set of equations can be solved to find the values of x and y which will be x equals 15 and y equals 5. In this set of equations we have three variables x, y and z and three equations. Hence they can also be solved. But in this set of equations we have three unknowns x and y and z but only two equations are available. Hence the values of variables cannot be determined with the given equations only. Same principle is used to find determinacy of a structure. In the given arrangement of a structure and its support, if it is possible to work out the values of the support reactions using equations of equilibrium, then the structure is said to be a determinate structure. These structures that can't be analyzed with the equations of equilibrium alone are said to be indeterminate structures. To find out determinacy of structure, we need to find out what support reactions exist in our system of structure. So, uh, at a rollers or slide support, there is one unknown which is typically Ry. At a pin support, there are two unknowns, horizontal reaction Rx and Ry, vertical Ry. And at a fixed support, there are three unknowns, Rx, Ry, and moment. This means if there is a fixed support for the beam, there are three unknowns. So no additional supports can be provided if the beam is to be analyzed because we have only three equations of equilibrium. If there is a pin support, which is two unknowns, the only other additional support is a roller with one unknown. So the total is not more than three equations of equilibrium. If there is a roller support, this is one unknown, an additional pin support will allow us to analyze the beam. In each of these cases, we can determine the unknown support reactions. So we say the beam is determinate. If the beam has two pin supports, like in this example, there will be four unknown support reactions. One, two, three and four. We don't have enough equilibrium equations to determine the values of four unknowns. So the beam is said to be indeterminate by one degree because we need one extra equation. Similarly, a beam with a fixed end and a roller support, fixed end and a roller support has four unknown support reactions. It is also indeterminate. When we have four unknowns, we need one extra equation to solve the problem and work out all the support reactions. So the beam is said to be one degree indeterminate. If the beam has two fixed ends, one, two, both fixed ends, there will be six unknown support reactions. One, two, three, four, five, and six. The equations of equilibrium only give us three equations. So we need an extra six, extra three equations to solve all the unknown reactions. Such a beam is said to be 
3 degree in this minute and requires advanced analysis method to supply the extra equations. If the beam has two fixed ends but there are two internal hinges also then there are 10 unknowns. Internal hinge can support vertical and horizontal reaction but cannot support movement. So at the internal hinge we have two unknown C's and at the fixed ends we have three unknown C's. So total becomes 10. The available equations are three equilibrium equations for each part of the structure. So this is part one, part one, this is part two, and this is part two. Three. So we have three equations of equilibrium for each part of the structure. In this case, there are three parts. So we have three times three equations, that is nine equations. This means we need one extra equation. Hence, the system is indeterminate by one degree. This basic idea can be extended to the more complex analysis. For a coplanar structure, there are at most three equilibrium equations for each part of the structure. So remember, each part of the structure, so that there is a total of n number of parts and r number of reactions. So r number of reactions reactions and n number of parts the determinacy of the structure can be calculated by using these equations if r equals 3 times n the structure is statically determined and if r is greater than 3 times n the, the structure is statically indeterminate so degree of indeterminacy can be determined by r minus 3n but if r is less than 3n then the structure would be unstable which we will see in the next slides now let's look at stability we need to analyze the arrangement of a structure and its supports to see whether it is stable. This is a separate issue from determinacy, though the two are related. In this example, the beam is supported by two ro roller supports, one at A and one at B. The system can only resist movi movement in y direction, this vertical forces, it can resist. If the forces are applied to the beam in x direction, inclined or horizontal, the whole beam will slide in x direction. This means the beam is not stable if horizontal force is applied to the structure. Note that while the beam can be analyzed because there are not more than three unknowns, the beam is determinate but it is not stable. If a beam or a structure is externally unstable, additional supports need to be added before it is worth spending time on structural analysis and design. At the beginning of any structural analysis, the structure and the parts of the structure need to be analyzed for determinacy, that is to decide what method of analysis to be used, and for stability, to check that the arrangement of the structure and its supports is adequate to prevent the structure from moving. Structures can be unstable if members have fewer than three support reactions, so in this case one and two supports are only available. The reactions are parallel, so all vertical reactions, so they are parallel. And the line of reaction forces are concurrent, so they all meet at one point. 
in that case also the structure becomes unstable.